hello everyone and welcome back to crafty mariana today i'm going to show you or rather we are going to learn how to make these uh, evil eye granny squares if you are new to my channel consider subscribing and uh, leave a comment and after you make this granny square don't forget to tag me on my instagram crafty mariana let's get into the video you need a yarn needle a three a 3.5 millimeter hook scissors here is the color palette for our tutorial today you'll need black color you need a shade of blue you can have this blue or you can have a green that resemble this um what color is this you can have this green and then we'll need white color and navy blue onto our first round we are not going to use a magic ring we are going to do a slip knot and on the second round we are going to do a puff stitch on the third round we will do in complete double crochet on the fourth round we are going to use three different stitches triple crochet double crochet and half double crochet all round to make the square um the incomplete double Incomplete double crochet is what uh, will finish our circular shape. So this is how you do a slip knot. Make an X on your finger. Push the hook under the first yarn and hook the second yarn and pull like that. There you have it, a slip knot. From here, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Onto the first chain that you made, do a slip stitch. Do a slip stitch and you will make a space inside here where we will call it our magic ring or our donut chain two and do 15 double crochets 15 double crochet one two right from here you can see from here you can see we have three stitches one two three but we started doing our first double crochet on the second one so do 15 of these but in total you will have 16 stitches including the chain of two that you did okay let's meet at the end at the end of the round count uh on the first chain that you made count three one two three at the top of the third chain do a slip stitch and chain one cut off your yarn pull to secure to close off the donut pull your tail this tail and from the first round to join in the second yarn you can start from any stitch on this first round join your yarn with a slip stitch like that and chain one and we do a puff stitch when you have one two three four five stitches on your hook pull through all of them and chain one go to the next space and one two three 
and pull through all of them chain one and if you have noticed we are working around our end so that you can have a clean end and no weaving after the project is done so that saves you time one two three The secret to this round is do not pull your yarn much. The tension should be as loose as possible. Do this stitch all round and count your past stitch. They should be 16 in total. Let's meet at the end. At the end of the round, we have 16 puff stitches and to finish off the round, chain one and skip to the space between the first and the second puff stitch and do a slip stitch. Chain one, cut the yarn, pull to secure and there you have your second round. On to the third round, we are going to use white color and same as the second um, round, we can start from anywhere for our third round and let's join with a slip stitch. I'm going to start here, join with a slip stitch and chain one, chain one, All right. Do two incomplete double crochet, one and two. When you have three loops on your hook, pull through all of them, chain two, and we go to the next stitch, which is going to be a bit different. Here you're going to do three incomplete double crochets. We have one and two and three and you will have four hook four loops on your hook and pull through all of them chain two and remember we are working around our tails to have a clean project or a clean a clean square at the end and that will save you time from weaving in repeat this to all the 16 spaces from the second round At the end of our round, we are going to chain two after the last incomplete double crochet stitch uh, onto the first chain that you did, a chain of two. At the top of the third chain, do a slip stitch. Chain one. Cut the yarn and pull to secure. And there we have it. That's our third round and this complete the circle uh, shape of our square. Now we are going to move to our last round. Also, you can start from any stitch from our third round. And we are going to start with a triple crochet to join with a slip stitch. And chain four. 
including the first one is gonna you're gonna count that as the first chain one two three and four and do a triple crochet yarn over twice go into the same space and yarn pull through the first two loops the second two loops and the third two loops and that creates our second triple crochet yarn over again and there we have three triple crochets okay from here chain two and do three more triple crochet into the same space first triple crochet And that will complete our first corner onto the second space. We do double crochet, three double crochets, do a bundle of three double crochet. Onto the third space, we do half double crochet. Three half double crochet onto the fourth space we do double crochet onto our fifth stitch uh, fifth space we do a triple crochet, three triple crochet. After three triple crochet, chain two and do three more triple crochet into the same space. And there we have it, our first corner. And this is what we are going to do. Repeat this uh, all around. And from here, we are going to do double crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. And here we will form our corner where we have three triple crochet stitches, chain two, and do other three triple crochet to form the corner and we will have double crochet half double crochet double crochet and the corner and here we have double crochet half double crochet and you're gonna finish with double crochet to finish off the round let's meet at the end of the round here we are at the last uh, double crochet we do three double crochets and count three at the first chain that you made one two three and at the top of it do a slip stitch chain one and from this part you can decide to use this granny square as it is or you can decide to continue with the granny square and make it much bigger so after chaining one cut your yarn pull the yarn to secure and this is how clean our granny square is the only ends that we have to weave in 
is the finishing and the starting end other ends i've already worked around them so the project is clean and this is where we use our yarn needle we are going to weave it according to the motion of the first round it was going like this is how we crocheted going this way so we are going to weave in continuing with the motion Pull the yarn, cut, and there you have a clean end. and there you have it and from here you can literally make anything from a sweater you can make pants jacket jumper you can make a, a bag a pillowcase from these granny squares so don't limit yourself on anything that you want to make thank you so much for coming along with me into this tutorial and if you have liked it don't comment don't forget to subscribe and comment and i'm gonna see you on the next one bye bye